Welcome to Notre Dame Stadium, where they will shake down thunder from the sky to cheer on their fighting Irish and hoping that plenty of echoes will reverberate in victory at the end of the game. Today we have a top 25 matchup on hand with two of college football's premier teams preparing to slug it out. As we'll see the number 20 team in the country, the Louisville Cardinals, taking on the 8th ranked team in the land, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. Notre Dame looking for a strong kick to get this one underway. And he hauls it in and everybody's on the edge of their seats. Rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone did not work out as he stopped at the 13. So Louisville's offense is going to be backed up thanks to that lackluster return. Here he comes, and obviously defense is always going to be aware of a quarterback, but boy, he finds a way to put defenses on their heels all the time, David. I mean, what can't he do? He's got the weapons, he's got the confidence, he's got the experience. Jesse, these kind of guys are so hard to defend. You're right. They better be able to find a way to get pressure on him, because if they don't, this is going to be a long day. This crowd going to try to make life miserable for these guys. They'll try to pop the draw. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, we clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Scanning the field, it's shut. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. And the big tight end, a lot of times that's a bigger strike zone, a bigger dude, and you can tell they put the hit on him, and that ball came out, and it came to the turf. Nice job playing physical by this defense. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Looking to the big tight end. Going to throw it to the right. He's got his man. Defense on skates that time. They finally drag him down at the 42. And you see tight end matchups all over the field all the time. Now, it used to just be in the red zone. Now, you just find the big fella. You put him in the slot. Try to give him the ball as much as possible because you know he can make big plays. From the gun, the ground game. And a nice solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. Halfway there on first down and second and five. Keep it on the ground. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. That's a really good stop by the defense. Jason, they need a few more. You've given up a bunch of yards on this drive and a bunch of plays, but all that matters is keeping them off the score. Yeah, it's that bend them break mentality you're seeing right now, and this is the point where this defense has just got to lock in. From the gun, he'll try to throw for it on third down. Pressure's there, and he lets it go. And they fail to hook up on third down. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? And here comes the field goal unit. This is going to have to be unleashed from 54 yards out. Smashes it between the uprights. And that'll put the first points of the game on the board. It's 3 to nothing. I know one thing this head coach does every week is he challenges his guys to start fast. And it's so important today, playing on the road in this kind of environment. You saw a nice drive. They didn't get the touchdown they would have loved, but still, kicking that field goal and taking this early lead, that's a statement for the visiting team. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. 
the returner will field it and try to set up his offense in great field position. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So Notre Dame's offense will try to get something going with their first possession. One thing to keep an eye on in this game, when they get a back isolated on a linebacker, who wins that matchup? Quarterback likes the matchup, but this linebacker, he's different, man. Not only is he a hitter, he's got the athleticism to cover people, too. Normally you say that's a win for the running back. The running back on a linebacker, I win. But this guy is different. Interested to watch this matchup. A negative play to open the drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. They'll go to the ground. Danced his way through traffic. Pick up a four to the 19. Just a simple power play. Again, not sexy. Run the ball up the middle. Physicality, offensive line gets to assert themselves. Run block, which they love to do. This pays dividends down the road before the quarter. Third and 10, still back up inside their own 20. This drive hasn't really gotten started. Back to pass, it's Leonard. Gets open down the middle. And the catch was one thing, and the run even better. A big pickup on that one. I love the start for this quarterback. Third down. Third down, obviously, money down. Got to have success. But to have success early, now it opens up everything. Like, we trust him. He's got a rhythm going. He's feeling good, and he got a lot of confidence. Notre Dame ready to go with another first down. They're going back to the ground. Turns it on in midfield. He puts him in business across the 50 into the 46-yard line. It'll be first down. First down, you know you always want to establish the running game. How about this offense? Nothing fancy. Run the football. Be physical. Get a big game. Notre Dame lines up quickly. They're going to go right back to him on first down. And a nice second effort by the back to break a tackle. But how about those defensive backs willing to come up, stick their face in the fan, and make a tackle? Those are the best run defenses, too, right? It's not just D-linemen and linebackers getting all the plays, but it's DBs that are willing to not just cover, but tackle backs in the open field. On second down, he'll let it fly. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. They couldn't connect on second down. Now staring at a third and nine. From the gun, wants to pass. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. QBs and receivers on third down. Everything has to happen just a split second sooner. You're expecting pressure. The quarterback gets hit just not on the same page with his target. The Irish send out the punt unit. He ought to be able to use his first punt to pin him deep. The punt goes out of bounds and a nice job to get them backed up. I think they'll spot it right around the 15. The Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. Leaves it with the back. Works his way into the traffic and picks up three to the 17. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Looking downfield, it's shut. Quickly out to the tight end. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. Well, a nice completion there, finding the tight end. And what's so beautiful about that is while they didn't get the first, they were able to pick up enough yards now to make the third down manageable, really putting this offense in a good position. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. They're bringing heat. Pressure in his face, and he lets it fly. Yeah, I like the aggressiveness on third and short, trying to throw the football, take advantage of a look that they got. They weren't successful, and now it's fourth and short territory. Who knows what they're going to do? And the Cardinals will call on their punt team. First time we've seen their punt team this afternoon. And the coverage team gets the returner on the ground. Notre Dame has the ball and ready to get moving. 
David, the putter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, and it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the putter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. The best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them to football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. Operating in the red zone here on second down. To the ground with the back. Not much room. He gets one down to the seven. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. Shotgun snap. Wants to throw it on third. Steps away to find some room. And he'll step into the end zone. Touchdown, Irish! Well, just as you would expect, that didn't take very long. It didn't, Reese. And you've got to make great field position count. If you've got opportunities, you got to pay it off. And the offense took advantage, scoring a touchdown. Didn't have far to go, but they got the points they needed. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And he found his way to the end zone from the seven to cap it. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Louisville has it back in the offense, coming out ready to attack. Last time, David, it was 1-2-3 kick. In the last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. They'll snap this one from the 30 on first and 10. Quarterback quick pass to the receiver. A most efficient pickup of six on first down. It's second and four. Well, and on these little push passes, timing is so important. You're trying to snap it right as he's getting a full head of steam. When he gets the ball, he's in the outside. Damn it. It puts the defense in such a difficult spot. You immediately have to be rotating when you see that motion. So everybody's got to communicate and kind of bump over. That's why offenses love to run it. Just It makes the defense communicate and see if you can just get him out of the spot. They got him at the 42, but he got five yards on the play. Well, there we go. We finally see some life in this offense running the football. Nice game to pick up the first down. Got to get more of that going moving forward because they have not run it well. The Cardinals have it with a first and ten. They'll give it to him again. Keeps the legs moving. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Not much running room. He had to break a tackle and still break another tackle to try to get back to the line of scrimmage. Not good blocking. Though. But that's what coaches always emphasize, too. Never assume a teammate's going to make the tackle. You run to the ball, and they did it there. 100%. Especially guys that are so big and strong and elusive nowadays. They're going to break tackles. Keep swarming. Keep hitting them. Next guy, don't, don't assume the tackle's going to be made. Well, they're trying to run the football there. Just nowhere to go. They got dominated up front at the point of attack. Here comes his home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Shoots it to the left. It's complete. And how about that? What the doctor always ordered. An explosive play to the 40. You know, one of the areas that separate good offensive coordinators from great ones is how efficient their offenses are on third down passing plays. That was the perfect call at the perfect time and obviously executed well. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Looking to throw, it's shut. Just a short pass to the tight end. 
And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. It's hard to run a route or get lost near the sidelines and understand exactly where you're at. Nice job understanding I'm starting to get close to the sidelines, throttling down a little bit, catching the football, and making sure I was out. On second down, looking to throw. He's got it down the middle. And more yards after contact. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. And you got to love the versatility of the big fella. You can put him in the box and let him block big defensive linemen, or you put him in the slot and you throw him the football and have success. From the 17-yard line, threatening to score on first and 10. Give to the running back. And he's swallowed up at the line of scrimmage by the big defensive tackle. Awesome job up front by this defensive line. Being so good at the point of attack and eating blocks, eating some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free, unencumbered, and get to the football. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. They'll leave it with him. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. It's amazing how a play by a defensive end in the backfield can really swing the momentum not only of a series but of a game sometimes. All you're trying to do is create negative plays, to get them behind the sticks a little bit, to get those sacks, to get those tackles for losses. You see so much stunting in college football up front with the defensive line because you know once you get one of those plays, you got the offense right where you are. Tell you what, I don't know if the offense was expecting man coverage that time. Third and long in field goal range, you're expecting it to be zone. Instead, they lock them up man to man, everybody on an island, everybody won. They get the incompletion now setting up for And now on fourth down, they'll try a field goal. Already proven reliable. Once he'll try a second field goal, this one a 37 yarder. And it's right down the boulevard. They'll kick it away after putting up a field goal on that last drive. He'll bring it out. It's four. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. Here come the Irish back on offense. They're trying to get to it. He'll pull it down and run. They make the stop, but what a job on the scramble to get loose and pick up that first down. Guys, we've come to the end of the quarter, and Notre Dame has the lead. We've played one before we move on. Let's have a look at the stats. Now to see if these guys can get back in the game in the second quarter. They'll snap it from the 25 here on first down. Single back formation and they give it to it. And that's a very productive first down play in bringing up second and three. And that quarterback knew the counter run was going to work on that play because he counted the box defensively before the snap. He saw that he had an advantage in numbers and blockers getting a hat on a hat. So he knew that was a green light. As soon as he got the snap, off they go, and it's an explosive play. They'll try the run. Shakes off the defender. And he has brought down the what a move he put on that first defender. That offensive line is putting those golden domes on the defense and starting to move the ball on the ground. And we can go back so many years. And the coaches may change, but the brand of Notre Dame is what it is. They're going to be physical. They're going to run the football. That's who they are, and that's how they're built. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. If you're going to stop the run game, you better be physical up front on the defensive line. They've got some maulers. They've got some dudes with bad intentions. Nice play there. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. 
And oftentimes running backs love drop plays because there's less traffic in front of them. The offensive line is selling pass, the quarterback selling pass. They don't get the handoff until the very last possible second. So the D line's rushed way upfield, and now it's so much easier for these backs to find their holes and pick their lanes. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. Scrambling away. Quarterback gets the first down and more. And a nice pickup on the run and gets down to avoid contact. Nice job. Nice way to end that play for the QB. He does a really good job scrambling, getting the first down, and getting down. Because defensively, I'm trying to get a lick. Anytime I can hit the quarterback, that is a win. Notre Dame coming to the line with another first down. Back to pass. It's Leonard. Quick strike complete. And they pick up just a few on that completion. And quarterback dropping back, understanding I'm getting zone coverage. All I got to do is be a little bit patient, manipulate that defense a little bit. My wide receiver runs that drag, and I get the first down. Offense about to reel off its seventh play of the drive. Here's the handoff. And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. Trying to put together a long, time-consuming drive. This eighth play will be third and two. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, the linebacker showing you read and react. He knew exactly where that running play was going, and he beat the football to the line of scrimmage and forced the TFL. Now on fourth down, they'll send out the field goal unit. He's going to reach for a long one, a 52-yard attempt. Oh, and he missed it. No good. And guys, after the miss, the lead is still one. The Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. They've had a couple of productive drives, but they've had to settle for field goals in two of their three previous possessions, Jesse. Yeah, this is an offense that takes a lot of pride in execution, and they feel like they should have scored a touchdown every single drive. So while it's been good, not great, David, just execute a little bit better, and they can put this one in the end zone this time. Yeah, and I think you point that out. We went all the way down the field on two of our first three drives and got field goals. Now, just a little better execution when, you, when that field starts to shrink and it gets a little bit more difficult. They'll get the first down. It's spotted on the 49. And listen, the offensive line has to do their job, but a really good job by the running back, understanding where his hole is. Go hit it. Get the first down. Don't mess around. Nice job following his hole, getting positive yards. It'll be a first down from the 49-yard line. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Good pickup on that play. It'll bring up second and four. They had a nice job by the running back, finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. To the air. It's shut. Fires to the middle. Incomplete thanks to the great defensive pressure there that sort of threw them out of rhythm. And how loud is it in this building? This is crazy. This, these fans are going absolutely nuts. And I used to love when the fans got involved and I'm on defense because it messes with the snap count. It messes with the communication. And it can really rattle an offense. Third down play from the gun. Unloads it left. He's got it. Now well within striking distance as that third down play gets him a first at the 29. And listen, the defense knew coming into this one they were going to target him early and often. He is a weapon, and there's no mystery where the quarterback's going to be looking on critical down and distances. Let's see how they're able to cover him throughout the rest of this game. Give to the back. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. 
Well, the offensive line had everybody blocked except the defensive end. He was able to sneak into the backfield and get the tackle for once. They'll try to overcome that last play on second and 15. The gift to the back. Plows ahead for a pickup of one to the 32. And stick him to the run. I'll tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football, you can tell. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. It's complete on the right side. Got a lot of running room. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. And that's why this guy is such a weapon in this offense, because you don't have to throw it far downfield. Just get the ball in his hands. He catches it close to the line of scrimmage, but look what he was able to do after the catch. He gets an explosive play for this offense. And the Cardinals will snap it on first and ten. To throw, it's shot. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Misfired on the last play, they'll go back to the air. Caught in the backfield, it's Turner. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. That was a nice catch right near the line of scrimmage. Man, you want to get some yak after the catch and try to make a play, but that defense was right on him. Got him on the ground too quick. This is a tough one. A third and long from this part of the field. They can, though, pick up the first down. The receiver was doubled, and they picked it off. And they capitalized not only on the pick, but the great return to give the offense tremendous field position. About the only good thing that happened for the offense on that play, at least it wasn't a pick six. What a return. Yeah, that didn't look good for the offense. You know all those big fellas, those old linemen, they're not going to be able to go make the play. So as the DB getting the interception, you know if you can break that play and you can get past that level, it might, it might be to the house. It might be to the crib. Lucky that wasn't a pick six if you're on offense. Notre Dame has the ball and ready to get moving. We talk about settling for points, but sometimes when you have to settle for nothing, David, it can be demoralizing. Yeah, and it can definitely be frustrating. And I think it leads you to say maybe I can go for it more. But, Jesse, I think this offense just needs to put another drive together and just finish stronger. Yeah, and, and be a little bit less predictable, too, especially as they get closer and closer down to the end zone. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Right back to the well. And you want to talk about gang tackling. Everybody on the defense run to the ball. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Almost intercepted. It'll fall incomplete. The defense almost came up with a turnover. Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. Notre Dame lining up to punt it away. And that one will sail out of bounds. No chance for a return there. Louisville has it back in the offense, coming out ready to attack. And boy, they missed an opportunity last time throwing that pick in the red zone, David. Yeah, and you got to put that frustration behind you. You can't turn it over. That's, that's a cardinal sin. You know better than that, Jesse. You can't take points off the board. But you got to move on. I, you do. I, I think he just got way too over-eager down in, in the red zone that last drive. So just come out here, trust your reads, trust what your coaches have told you to do, and just go out and execute the offense. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Gets it out quickly. Makes the grab and he's dragged down. 
it's definitely the wide receiver's job to create space, right? So whether you're running a go or you're running a hitch like this right here, I gotta find a way to push off the or just create a little bit of space to get some positive yards. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. Defense did a great job. Third and short on the opponent's side of the field. They're expecting quick throw. Everybody, they dug their heel in the ground. They're able to break on the ball and force the incompletion. The Cardinals line up to punt it away. They'll look to pin him deep. Just needs a crack to get a return. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. Notre Dame has the ball and ready to get moving. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So we got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen yet. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Going to run it. It's locked. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Nice run there. Doesn't it just feel like Notre Dame football when you see that, too? You know, you got touchdown Jesus looking down, and one thing Notre Dame has always seemed to have is big uglies up front, guys pushing the pile, NFL talent on this offensive line, just having their way, making life easy for these running backs. It is a beautiful thing to see. Offense threatening at the 45-yard line on first and 10. Looking downfield, it's Leonard. Got his man. Chopping up this defense, and they've got it all the way down to the 23. This offense is clicking, everything working together really well. Coordinator, quarterback, offensive line. Good rhythm, good flow. Defense is going to have to find something to kind of mess up this timing they got going on. Notre Dame ready to go with another first down. He's looking to throw it. Just too much heat that time, and they knock him down at the 31. And as quarterbacks, you've got to be aware of secondary pressure. You've got to know when these free safeties, they start creeping towards the line of scrimmage, that they might get involved. You've got to have an answer for it, and the QB didn't have one that time. That offense having to deal with the last thing you want on first down, giving up a sack as they come up to the line on second down. Caught over the middle, it's locked. Several defenders get an assist on that tackle. This defense is gonna have to be careful. Not only do they have to worry about this guy running the football, but they've gotta keep their eye on him when he runs routes too. He is a versatile back. The offense will have to use its first time out of the half. They're facing a third down. All wideouts, no backs. On third and short, they'll try to throw for it. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. It's fourth down, and they'll try the field goal. The holder will put it down on the right hash, a 33-yard try. It's good, and that was dead solid perfect. So they put the field goal on the board and about to kick it away and hoping that'll be the final point of this first half. Let's see if he can make a play on the return. He was looking for some running room but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. They'll throw it on first down. Catch in the middle, it's Brooks. 
A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. It's first and 10 from the 31. He wants to throw. He's taking the shot. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? You know, it's so important for corners to be able to transition, right? You gotta have real loose hips. You gotta be able to change direction on a dime. And in zone coverage, when you see the ball thrown, you can break on it and force incompletions like that. After the incompletion, looking at second down. Looking to throw, it's shot. Throws to the wideout. Got his man downfield. A huge play, and they get it all the way to the 45-yard line. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. Wants to throw on first down. Right down the middle. Just flying through the air like a superhero to make the grab. Got open on the post and then had no regard for his body in making that catch. Exactly right. You know you're going to get hit a lot of times coming over the middle of the field, but he runs that post, lays out, makes the play for his quarterback. That's a tough ombre. To the air on first down. It's incomplete, and trust me, you will not see that very often from this guy at second down. Just got to finish the play for the wide receiver. You got to look that one in and complete it. It's a bad drop. After the misfire, it's second down. He's looking to throw. A shot toward the end zone. And he's got it! Touchdown, Cardinals! And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And I'll tell you what, heat that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they covered the final 29 yards with that touchdown pass. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25, he's brought down at the 26. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Good, solid run on that one as he gets it up to the 33-yard line. They'll use a timeout right before halftime, maybe time for one or two more plays. One more snap coming before halftime. Looking to throw, it's Leonard. He hurls one deep down the left side. And it's caught inside the 15. Big, big gain on that one as he steps out of bounds with a first down. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. And it should come as no surprise that we have ourselves a fun matchup in South Bend. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. With that said, let's send it back to the fellas there in the shadows of Touchdown Jesus. And the Cardinals will boot it away to start the second half. On the move from inside is five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. 
Here come the Irish, back on offense. I imagine we'll see them go right back to work up top after how productive that passing game was in the first half. And it's interesting. If I'm the defense and I've got the lead, they've had success throwing the football, but we're winning. I don't know that this defense changes too much of what they've done in the first half. I think they got to do a better job with pass rush. They might want to change their coverages as well because they're probably at this point expecting this offense to have to keep throwing, considering they did have success in the first half. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. It's an offense that takes pride in being physical. They try to get it going on the ground, but no gain on that one. Just nowhere to run. Not a lot of wiggle room for the ball carrier. This defense came in knowing that they had to match their physicality. Let's see if they can keep it up. Trying to pick up a first down. He'll pull it on the read. Tackled after picking up the first down. So far, everything's just seemed to work for this offense when they wanted to run the football. Regardless of what down and distance it is, they're able to get it done. Up front, getting a lot of push, and these backs are finding the holes. Notre Dame coming to the line with another first down. One man in the backfield, and he gets it. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Small game, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him onto the run game. you got to do a lot of this. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Going to run it. It's Bob. And they're able to shove him to the turf as they stop him for a short game. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? Looking for a man. It's Leonard. A strike downfield. Big play for this offense as they get it to the 32. And I love the fundamentals by the quarterback on that last completion. That's four verticals. And if you're going to complete that ball down the seam, you've got to be able to freeze the safety in the middle of the field and not telegraph the throw. That's exactly what the QB did. Nice job. This Notre Dame offense carving it up. They're working with another first down. They'll put the tight end in motion. They'll run it from the gun. Defense there to make the stop after a pickup of two to the 30. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. After picking up a couple at second and eight. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Wide open downfield. They get him down with this offense to set up first and goal from the nine. Nice patience by the quarterback here working against zone coverage. He was allowing his receiver an opportunity to find that open space in the defense before pulling the trigger. On first and goal, Notre Dame will try to get it in the end zone. Wants to go up top. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there for his second down. This defense has a lot of speed, especially in the secondary. You saw that speed. That defender got to that receiver so quick, and because of the hit, incomplete pass. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He'll run it to the middle, looking for the end zone. He'll pick up three before he's downed at the six. All right, so now you're in this third down situation close to the goal line, and it just feels, David, like they're going to have to throw the football in order to score a touchdown here. I like maybe trying to get the quarterback outside on the perimeter and give him a run pass option. I like that too, getting the quarterback on the move. And here's the thing, if I get close and I get stopped, it's fourth down. Fourth down means go for it. That's all that means now. Touchdown by the Irish. They take the lead with the six. And that's why this running back is so dangerous. It's not just handing him off the football, but he's a weapon in the passing game. You see his, his ability to catch it, turn up field, make people miss and find the end zone.
Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. 76 yards on the drive for the touchdown, and they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Louisville has it back in the offense, coming out ready to attack. Building momentum, picking up a chunk of yardage, moving the chains out to the 34. Man, who says you can't run up the middle anymore, right? Everybody thinks, I got to make big plays. I got to go way out to the left, way out to the right, way out in space. Nope, right down the middle. Nice blocking. How about the running back? You could tell the speed, the wheels, does a great job getting down the field, making a huge rushing play. Going up top on first down. He's got the tight end. He's brought down solid. Pick up a little bit short of the first down. I'll tell you, I love the play call on first down here. You're just trying to find an easy completion. And the shortest throw on the field, the quarterback is finding your biggest target, and that's the tight end. Nice job. Here comes the offense on second down. The pull and throw off the RPO. Brought down at the 48 after a gain of five. Love the play call on the RPO. That time the defender bites on the run fake, and that opens up the window for the slant coming in behind it. Nice job. The Cardinals come to the line with a fresh set of downs. To the air, it's shot. Fires to the right. And that's a mistake you don't expect to see from a senior, and he is lucky to get it back. It might be a good thing that he sailed that one and wasn't accurate, because obviously two defenders double-teamed the wide receiver, not letting him get open. And the quarterback, I mean, it was a good miss. As an OC, I'm going, all right, that's a good miss. On second down, just keeps firing. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third down, he drops to throw. He makes a catch. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. Man, we're seeing the tight end used more and more in the passing game. You, you see him moving inside. You see him moving outside. You see him moving in the box to block people. So here they put him in the slot and just have a nice little pitch and catch session. Back to the air one more time. Deep shot for the end zone. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. Really nice play by the defender. Being in a good position for that deep ball down the field. Not letting the receiver put his big body on him. Go up over top. The only thing that could have been better is that they tipped to another defender. And it was an interception. But great coverage by the defender. Right back to the air on second and ten. Complete downfield. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. They'll give it to the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They're trying to run the ball on first down, guys, but just nothing doing up front. Their offensive line got blown up on that play. There was nowhere for that guy to go. The negative play leaves them with second and 12. Dropping back, it's Shuck. Going for it all. And it'll be intercepted in the end zone. And the senior just snatched the ball out of the air and gave it back to his offense. Have a day, young fellow. Two interceptions already? That's, that's three, four, five, six games for some people. A hot start, catching the football. He's acting like he's playing wide receiver out there. I might think about trying a different DB. Notre 
Notre Dame has the ball and ready to get moving. How about that last drive? Just carved him up in the air, David. Yeah, and how about that quarterback? You gave him the ball, and he delivered the goods. Great job taking apart the defense, Jesse, on that last drive. He really did, David. I mean, that was a master class in just reading coverage and being accurate. At some point, enough is enough. This is the guy that's beaten. He's priority number one. We got to go get him. It's getting later in the second half. I got to go out and make some plays and get my offense the ball back. He wants to pass it on second down. Got it in the middle with Evans. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. So an example of a tight end doing a little unheralded work to set up a much better third down situation. And I like the QB here, Reese. I like the decision where I understand, let's get this football out, let's get some positive yards, and then get to third down, and we can still have a better situation now because we got rid of the football and took the yards over there. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. Well, they were trying to set up the option, but the quarterback had no chance. Did you see the defensive tackle penetrate? What a great first step. He shot right through the offensive line and got the TFL. The Irish send out the punt unit. He'll try to really get into this one. You don't always have to block the punt to impact it, and that pressure did that time. The Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. That last drive was a punch in the gut, throwing the pick in the red zone, Jesse. Yeah, and it just seemed like there was some miscommunication down there in the red zone. David, this drive, the QB and receivers just have to do a better job being on the same page. Yeah, and I think you pulled the positives, right? We moved the football down the field. We had a chance to score, but we can't let those opportunities slip between our hands. Let's go get some points. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Leaves it with the running back. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. We saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical. Ball is at the 41 as this defense tries to force the punt on third and long. Back to throw. It's Shuck coming after it. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. Great job up front on this pass rush. Defense in a dime personnel grouping. They've got six DBs on the field. They're expecting pass, so they're going to have to win with four guys. And they're 4-1. They got the job done. And the Cardinals decide to punt it away. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. They'll put that return to a stop at the 33, but the offense set up in pretty good field position. Notre Dame has the ball and ready to get moving. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Flushed out of the pocket. He's going to be able to pick up a few yards before the slide. Hey, listen, it's important at that position to be able to be good off schedule. Everything's easy when it's on time. You get the ball out, but when things break down and they get off schedule, you've got to have a guy back there that can make the right decisions. He did exactly that. And here comes the offense on second down. They'll run it out of the shotgun. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Great team defense on that one play. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones. D linemen staying in their gaps. Linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it better. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. To the ground to try to move the chains. And the defense knew exactly where that first down line was, and they stopped him short. Notre Dame lining up to punt it away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. He'll bring it back. It's Lacey. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return. Gets a little bit of ground for the offense. Comes out throwing on first down. Blasted as he lets it go. 
And that is interception number three on the day. If you don't have good vision, you're not going to be a middle of the field safety. You've got a lot of ground to cover. Hash to hash. You better be able to see the quarterback. You better be able to see routes and break up the football. Nice job seeing the formation, seeing the route, breaking on it, and making the interception. And they'll get off one more play before the end of the quarter. Looking to go up top on first down. Going over the top. Got it in stride at the 15. And he strides his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Notre Dame! One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. If this quarterback gets through his progression, Dave, and hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running, I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy, the connection between quarterback and wide receiver. You can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. And the extra point is good. It's 24-13. We've been treated to an aerial show by these two guys so far as you check out their numbers. One quarter to go, and might we have the makings of a classic fourth quarter finish. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. Louisville has it back and the offense coming out ready to attack. Looking for a man, it's shot. And he dropped it, just didn't look the thing all the way in. Well, the receiver getting a little ahead of himself on that one. You saw him calling for the ball. He thought he was wide open. He thought that was gonna be an easy catch. The ball finally gets to him and he drops it. If you're gonna call for the ball like that and call your shot, you've gotta secure the catch. Right back up top on second and 10. Quickly to the tight end. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him too. Just get the feeling this defense is gonna make it hard on him, right? They've got the lead, it's late. They're gonna to try to tackle everybody in bounds. Offense is going to have to really work for this and be smart. You gotta attack the sidelines. You gotta throw first down. You gotta keep this thing moving vertically down the field. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Works his way to the 41 and that is plenty to give him a first down. Well, trailing like they are right now in the fourth quarter, their execution offensively is just going to have to be at a premium. You can't afford a lot of incompletions at this point. Everybody is going to need to be on the same page moving forward. Finally, some signs of life from this offense, which has done nothing in the second half. It's first and ten. With the catch, it's Lacey. And that's a good job by the dragger out there, understanding its zone coverage. So instead of continuing to run across the field, he settles down into an open spot, making it easy for his quarterback. Trying to get a rhythm in the passing game, now on second down. He's looking to throw. Snagged in the middle, it's Lacey. And he'll take it in and house it. Touchdown, Louisville! So they get that score that they so desperately needed, and now they've got a chance to pull this one out. Defense has got to give them a chance. The defense needs to get the ball back to them quickly so they can march down the field and try and score and narrow the gap again. This offense, they have the playmakers to come back and win this football game. They're going to need some help from the defense. They'll go for two here and try to climb within a field goal late. Dropping back, it's shut. He's in there for the two-point conversion, and now they're within a field goal. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And they capped off the drive with a big play through the air, scoring from 50 yards out. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Fielded in the end zone. It's Price. 
I imagine he's going to get an earful on the sideline after bringing it out of the end zone and being knocked down at the 11. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. Hammers ahead for a yard out to the 12. And this is a pressing time for this defense. They, they've got to understand, they're backed up a little bit. They're going to run the football. They don't want to make a mistake. So I think this is the time I'm a little bit more aggressive. i, I got to get this football back to my offense because I'm trailing. So I look for this defense to get a little bit aggressive. They go to the draw. Really nice job by the defense getting that last stop. All third downs in games are important, but this one just feels like it's the biggest down of this game right now for this defense. If they can get off the field, they've got to give it back to their offense with as much time as possible to have a chance to win this game. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Good timing on the quick out. The Irish send out the punt unit. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Another punt on the way. Got to make sure those hammies and glutes all activated. Don't want any muscle pulls from overuse. The Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. They put it in the end zone the last time they had it, and now an opportunity to really take control of this game. You can feel the momentum shifting. If they were able to take the football here, drive it down the field, and score again, David, they would have all of that momentum on their side. And there's nothing about momentum that you can call Like, I, I don't understand it, but once it gets going in one direction, a lot of times it's so hard to swing it back the other direction. The momentum is real, and they got it. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. They'll make the stop at the 42. It's a pickup of five, and that will be enough for a first down. This is an offense that really sees their identity as being able to run the football. Nice job there picking up the first down. They'll snap this one from the 42. It's first and 10. Wide receiver now comes in motion. They're going to ride this running back. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Looking to pass. It's shut. Snags it over the middle. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. Excellent throw by the quarterback. Found the window between the zones and then delivered the ball on time. The Cardinals are on the move. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Well, that's just a great play by the defender and great timing. It was the hit that forced that incompletion. Offense gets set for second down. Off play action. Fires to the wideout. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. Well, I know that one fell incomplete, but what a day this guy's had throwing the football. Multiple touchdowns, and he's done a really nice job with his decision making. Hasn't thrown any picks, which has really helped keep this offense on schedule. Defense getting stingier in their own end of the field. It's third and long from the 28. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. So now we'll line up for one of the biggest kicks of this game. And he'll need a little distance and accuracy, a 42-yarder from the left hatch. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. Fellas, we have a tie ball game here in the fourth.
And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. Looking for those open spaces and opportunity. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Here come the Irish, back on offense. Looking for space. It's Love. Twist his way through. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run, and then you open it up for the passing game. After the nine-yard pickup on first down, here's second and one. The give on the inside. And how about that play by that giant, that mountain of a man on the defensive front. And nice job by the defense. Understanding second and short, they're playing run. You can see super physical, now forcing the third down and short. They'll try to muscle their way forward on third and short from the 29. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. They were all over him. Nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. And sometimes for the defense, it just takes one play, right, to create some momentum. Obviously, this guy's been eating him up. He's got over 100 yards rushing on the day. But finally, David, they get something positive here in the run game defensively. But you kind of know that coming in. He's going to get his. Such a great back, and he's had a great day. Need to put more plays together like that right there. Looking for running room. He'll get it to the 43-yard line before he stops. Louisville has it back in the offense, coming out ready to attack. Back to throw, it's shut. Unloads to the wideout. He's got it. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. Hey, listen, you get zone coverage and you can hit that curl route and he comes open continually, keep hitting it. This might be a play to come back to. From the 44-yard line, the offense snaps it on first down. He leaves it with the back. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Stopping the run is about physicality. It's about I'm bigger than you. I'm stronger than you up front. Really nice job by the defense. Showing their strength, bowing up, stuffing the run. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. On the ground with the counter. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. There's just so much for this defense to think about. They've had strong side runs thrown. Now the counter. They know that this offense can work in the play action off of all these base runs too. So much offensive volume this defense needs to worry about at this point of the game. They'll try to get the first through the air. Trying to get to it. Just too much of a rush, and down goes the quarterback just behind the midfield stripe at the 49. And come on now, O-line, you got to take care of your quarterback. He takes care of you. He's the one who takes you to meals. He's the one that gets you those NIL deals. Everything happens through your quarterback. you got to keep him upright. That is your number one priority. And the Cardinals will line up to punt it away. He won't be able to return this one as it goes out of bounds. Notre Dame has the ball and ready to get moving. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Dropping back, it's Leonard. Fires to the tight end. He's out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for the first down. Really good job working through his progression. You get it to him quickly, and the big tight end has a chance to run a little. And a really good job by the QB throwing an accurate throw. I, I got to hit those guys on the move, on the run, so they can do this. They can catch the football, get upfield, and chew up some extra yards. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. 
Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks with a first down. Every offense wants to be able to run the ball and be physical, especially on first down. And you want to create second and short, third and short, or just get first downs like that run right there. Notre Dame ready to go with another first down. He's going to pass. Fires to the big fella. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. Yeah, tight ends aren't just line up and block guys. These guys are athletes. You line them up all over the field. And nowadays, you can start to feature them more and more in the passing game. That completion leaves us with second and medium. They'll go with a direct snap. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. And these defensive tackles just eat people. They swallow human beings when you get near them. They're so big, so strong. Hey, when those guys, those running backs come in, they just need a mitt. They put one mitt on a running back, and he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength. The clock has stopped as we have reached the two-minute warning here in the ballgame. They need to get a little closer for a field goal try, and they've got to do it in a hurry. They'll snap it from the gun on third down. Oh, they really could have used that catch there. Physical pass defense. It brings up a fourth down. Passing situation. What do I want to do? I want to bring more guys that can cover guys on the outside. Nice job by this defense running the dime package. More DBs on the field to match up with all these speedy wide receivers. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And the return man will have no chance as the ball sails out of bounds. The Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. And don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. It's now second down after the short completion. To the air, it's shot. Throws to the tight end. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical and pass deep. Third and long, defense knows the pass is coming. So they're going to have guys with their eyes on the QB, but they're going to try to get to him with pressure. Pinning their ears back. If you're on offense, you might be thinking blitz here. Better get rid of this one quick. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. Throws to the wideout. Makes a connection. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. And they just want to give this guy a chance to make a play on third down. And more times than not, he is going to deliver. And he's so good. So efficient. Such a good route runner. Got the speed. Got the complete game. So you definitely want to highlight him. And especially on those downs that matter the most. If something's not open quick underneath, find him. He'll make those contested catches. Stopped after making the catch. You know, sometimes when you're throwing against zone coverage, you need time for the routes to develop. So nice job by the quarterback there being patient, allowing his receivers to work themselves over. They'll hurry to the line with the clock still running. He's back to throw on second down. He'll take a shot. And good coverage and better hands by the defender to knock it down in the end zone. Well, the defense finally showing some life there. It's been tough sledding, too, because this offense has been lighting them up through the air, but a nice individual effort that time, forcing the incompletion. Big third down as the crowd gets behind this defense. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires to the right. And the misconnection on third down. I gotta be honest, I thought this tight end was gonna have a much bigger role in this game. They wanted to get him the football early and often, but after that drop here in the second half, he still doesn't have a catch. The Cardinals will bring the punt team onto the field. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. Fair catch, called for and made. Here come the Irish, back on offense. 
This one is about finding the balance between being aggressive and not being reckless, Jesse. The only way this thing works, though, if they're going to be aggressive, this offensive line has got to be able to hold up here for this QB. Yeah, because you need to take shots beyond the sticks so the clock will stop and you can save every second you have. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Hand off from the shotgun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, guys, let's play some more. Headed to overtime. And this just feels right. Both of these teams going back and forth. So, of course, David, this thing needs to get decided in OT. Let's see who's better. Short amount of time to do it. A couple possessions probably. Maybe one possession each. Who's the better team? All right, guys, so here we go in overtime. And just to refresh everyone's memory, alternating possessions starting on the opponent's 25. And you want to play defense first because you want to know what you need. That's a key philosophical approach for most teams when it comes to overtime, David. Yeah, and remember the rule change a couple years ago, too, in, in the second overtime and two-point conversion. So all this stuff is situational-type football that you better have worked on throughout these weeks of the season. They'll throw it on first down. Got his man down the middle. The Irish trying to strike gold in this red zone trip. Off the play fake. He makes the connection. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. They're going to run it. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. On third down, going up top. Touchdown, Irish! And they grab the lead here in overtime. And how about the offense? They spread them out. Everybody spread wide. Easier to read a defense when you do that. They find the matchup they want, and they get rewarded with the speed. And wait just a second. The official's going to take a second look at this one. And they take another look at the play with the officials on the field. We're right, and the play will stand. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. They know what's in front of them. They have to answer that score with a touchdown. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. And the defense gets home. yippee ki -yay at the 35. the big first down sack for the D. It's second down. Back to throw. It's shut. Fires to the wide out. It's caught downfield. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. Third down in overtime, and they need to get it to the end zone. In the gun and looking.
looking to throw on third down. Oh, and it's intercepted. A turnover in overtime. Got some room to run. He's inside the 40. Running inside the 20. And it's going to be a pick six. Touchdown, Fighting Irish. What a play by this defense with the pick six. And how about the defender? Exactly what you're supposed to do. Breaks on the football, makes the interception. Everybody on defense, we turn to offense. Go lay some blocks so my guy can get it and take it back to the house.